Hey there, and welcome to another quick tutorial video. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Uh, today we're going to be just demonstrating the new splitter features with 16.17 uh, that just came out, uh, really just a few hours before this video. And uh, the main feature this added is this new functionality with splitters that allows you to uh, do so much with them, essentially do what you used to be able to do with the circuit network or filter inserters. You can still, of course, do that. Um, but this is now implemented into the splitters. So uh, first off, to clarify, uh, this works with all splitters, um, both yellow, red, and blue. Uh, and it's just unlocked with basic logistics. Um, I've unlocked everything because I'm in creative, but obviously you need logistics to unlock splitters to begin with, um, but it'll just come with that. So uh, when you open a splitter now, you can now actually click on a splitter and you get a little GUI with some configurations here. And you have multiple options, input priority, output priority, and a filter. And you can do left or right uh, or top bottom, depending how you want to look at it. Um, so I've set up some examples here to show you what you can do with this, and it's it's just really, really cool. It makes things so much uh, less tedious to mess with and stuff. You know, if you like the other way, you can still totally do that, but let's jump, uh, jump in here. So first off, we're going to show off the uh, input priority. So I've gone in here, you just check the box, um, and then click this, whichever one you want. I'm currently selecting left, and this is input priority. So what this does is this prioritizes the input from whichever one you select. So you can see there's a nice little arrow here to demonstrate. And this is now prioritizing this lane. And you can see this here. I have a full lane here and only half of a lane here. And you can see that on the output we get a full lane, but the top um, the top lane on this belt isn't moving because it's prioritizing the top, like this one coming in. And since it's only the top lane, that's taking over this one. And then it's only using the bottom lane here and it's combining down into one. So this is really useful for like, if you uh, if you have like uh, ore belts going into smelters and such, and then you you know you have like a, a mine or or an outpost that you want to prioritize because you know you want that to like mine out before your new input or something, um, this is really useful for that. Uh, now down here we have a uh, similar example kind of like that where this one is uh, I'll even demonstrate it more by taking those off this. So this would be like this, right? If you have a thing that's mining out, it's not quite a full belt, but you want to prioritize it. So that's used first. Um, this is a good example. So we have a full belt here, which would be like your new input. And then you have this one here. And you can see that this one is only moving once in a while just to fill in the gaps here. Um, so that's really nice because now we get a full belt out, even though, you know, we have a partial belt coming in. This pretty much worked okay with uh, normal splitters, like it would still give you a full belt like before they implemented this, but you didn't really have a good way to prioritize this belt over this one without doing like some underground and other belt shenanigans. Uh, now, the next part is um, same deal, but we're just uh, flipping sides and doing two different resources. So um, you can see here that I'm now doing input priority on the bottom or the right, and we have iron and copper, and I only have one belt coming out here. Um, so this is now just saying, okay, it's prioritizing the bottom lane and we're only getting copper, right? Now, if I were to put another one here, um, it would essentially just switch them. Um, it wouldn't actually switch them. It would just be as is, right? Because we have two different lanes, but this was just to demonstrate that, um, how that will work. Um, now we come up here and this is the output priority, which is the same exact thing, but on your output. So I have two half lanes here. Uh, and they are combining and then I tell this to output priority to the left even though I have a whole belt coming here The splitter is now outputting a full lane because um, these two combine to the top or left and just not doing anything at the bottom Right because I told it to uh, Now this is where it gets really cool um, so I'm doing this here just to combine these lines. I have some other examples below, um, but this is just going here, no settings whatsoever. It's combining the lines, but this is the filter. So this is really nice. Um, you choose your output priority, which direction you want, and then you can include a filter and you can select any item in the game. I'm currently selecting iron because we have iron and copper. And what this does is this says, this item you select, so in this case, iron, can only go to the top. The only thing that can output to the top is iron and everything else will go to the bottom, the other lane, the one that you're not prioritizing, right? So even though we have a completely mixed line here, we now have two separate lines because I'm output prioritizing with a filter for iron to the top. And then uh, over here, I'm doing just a similar thing. Um, in, in this case, we have a re two resources where each one has a full lane instead of mixed like that. 
and I'm just prioritizing to the left with uranium ore. So it's just saying uranium is prioritized top and everything else has to go to the other lane, right? And then this is just even a more extreme example of three different resources being mixed like this. And I'm just showing uh, coal for a priority to the right and then everything else to the top. And I did three different just to show you that it, it does mean everything else. So you can see that um, both the wood and uranium and say you had, even if you have like three other resources, like, I don't know, stone and power poles or whatever mixed in here, everything except coal would go to the lane you're not prioritizing with the filter. So that's how it works. Just kind of a quick rundown to show you how that works if you uh, don't understand, if you didn't understand it or it's totally new to you. Um, really, really awesome features um, here that you can now do so much with without having to fiddle with uh, wires, the circuit network, or any underground shenanigans or side loading stuff. Um, this just allows you to do a lot more, which is awesome. So I believe that does it as always, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. If I forgot anything, or you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments and I will do my best to respond. Uh, if you did find it helpful, feel free to leave a like. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.